Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. So today we continue with what we were discussing. The last class we discussed uh, formal letters and we will complete it today and that will bring us to the end of the first module. In the last class we were talking about letters written in uh, colleges by students. Today we will move on to a different set of letters. They are also formal letters. But the difference is that those letters are the kind of letters which we encounter in workplace situations. So that is what we will be discussing today. So this is uh, in page 32 of your textbook. If you take up page 32 of your textbook, you can see this next activity so that is in page 32 of your textbook so this activity is to read uh, three main parts of the letters three bo the bodies of three letters are given below what do you mean by a body body means the main part of the letter read them and complete the letter given below selecting the appropriate one so there are there are three uh, bodies which are given and which is the most suitable one for this letter so how will you understand whether which is the most suitable one for this letter only by looking at the subject so here you have to fill up this uh, uh, form or the letter using the body which is given above okay so here the subject is application for leave and the, there are three bodies which are given here can you tell me which one of these is suitable for this letter? Thank you for those responses. Andana Shri Lakshmi Shriya Anushriya Chana Rishmi Sukanya lot of people lot of people have responded correctly it is the second one so the subject line will help us to identify which is the uh, yeah yes thank you for those responses so here the second uh, body that is i won't be able to attend the class today as i have an appointment with the doctor i would be grateful if you could grant me leave of absence for the day. So that is the body which can be written here. Okay, so this is something which we have to do in the textbook. First, we have the from address here. After that, we have the date. Okay, after the date, we have the two address. That is the address of the uh, principal or the HOD. And then we have dear sir or madam, and then we have the subject line. And after the subject line, we write the main body of the letter. After the writing that, we have the complimentary clause that is yours obediently or yours faithfully. Below the complimentary clause, we have the signature, and below the signature, we have the name. So you can also write the subject lines for the other letters, that is letters 1 and 3. 
with this uh, these two letters what can be the subject lines line for this letter It is a request for the transfer certificate and contact certificate. You can use the short forms, but when you use short forms, it should be written in capital letters. That is, TC should T and C should be capital. Contact certificate, C, both C should be capital. So you can also write in uh, short forms also in the subject. So how do you write the subject line? First, you write S U B. Then you put a colon. What is a colon? Colon means two dots. Two dots is called a colon. Okay, then you write request for TC and CC. So that will be the subject for the first body that is highlighted there on the screen. So that will be the subject line for the first uh, letter. Okay, so this is the subject line for the first letter. Request for TC and CC. What will be the subject line for this one? Yes, Nandana, thank you for that. Application for or request for original certificates. Application for original certificates. Okay, very good. So that could be a good uh, subject. Okay, you also have to add SUB then put a colon, then write application for original certificates. Or you can just also write, uh, yes, so that is also a possibility. Application for original certificates. Okay, now today we move, move on to workplace situation. So uh, we have many requirements when you work in an office. You may require many things in the office. So here, uh, look at this activity four. It says, write a letter placing an order for an office filing cabinet with the following specifications. A cabinet is nothing but an almira or a cupboard which is used in an office. We have a cabinet in the morning. So uh, like you keep clothes in your cupboard at home, we keep files in the cabinet in the office. I'm going to know comments like that. Office learning in the files is in the shelf. That is called a cabinet. Okay, shelf is also in the term. So these are all common terms, but cabinet is something which is used for official purposes. Files you see in the files you see in the cabinet. So office filing cabinet. So when you request for something, you should give the specifications also. Okay, so that is called a specification. So if you are using a, a computer, if you are using a mobile phone, it will have some specifications. What is a specification? Specification means uh, 
the details that is if you are having a mobile phone what is the size of your screen okay what is the operating system that you are using whether you are using android 10 or whether you are using android 8 9 etc uh, what is the model that you, of your phone what is the memory that your phone has memory is also there two kinds of memory are there what is your ram capacity what is your storage memory capacity okay so that is what is called as a specification what kind of a battery do you have what is the capacity of the battery these are these are all the things that come under specification of a mobile phone similarly when you want to buy a cabinet or a cupboard you should tell them what uh, cupboard cupboards and cabinets come in all kinds of sizes so what size uh, cabinet do you want what kind of a cabinet do you want? That is called a specification. So here we have the specifications already given there in the box. We just need to write them down into the letter which is given, the format of the letter which is given in the box below. So the specifications are already given here. Uh, e size and the specification would be box and rule somehow that has spilled on to the letter so here what do we have here we have the from address okay then we have the date from address then the date then the two address okay then dear sir or dear madam or dear sir slash madam and then we have the subject line What will be the subject line? So if you look at the uh, question, you, you can understand the subject line also. How will you write the subject line? You will write the subject line like this. Type SUB and put a colon. Then order for an office filing cabinet. Okay. So I have typed it in the chat box. We can see that. That will be my subject line here. So we would like to purchase an office filing cabinet with the following specifications from your company. So you can just uh, copy this down and paste it into the letter. So we will have these five, uh, three, four specifications. Okay, model number, material, brand, and size. All these things should be written there. Model number, material, brand, and size. So all the four uh, should be there. You can type, uh, write them together, then it will be easier for you. So all the four specifications, that is model number, material, brand name, and size. So model number is, uh, that is if you buy a uh, uh, phone, for instance, they will have some model number that they give. For example, if it's a Nokia phone, they will say Nokia 5.3 or something like that. That is called a model number. 
that is specific to the brand. Okay, that is called the model. So that you can give. Then material. What kind of material is it? Oh, you want? If you want a cupboard which is made of wood, you should mention that. So here they will say that they want a material, material is metal. They are asking for a metal material. Then brand name. Okay, the name uh, of the brand. Then size. How many drawers do you want? Depending on uh, how, uh, what kind of things, how many things you want to keep, keep in your cupboard. So four drawers means it will be that much height only. If you have six drawers, it will be very tall. So the size of the cabinet will increase depending upon your use. And uh, if you look at the size, this is mentioned here. One second. I'll copy the, just the size for you. H730 is mentioned. H is uh, height. W is uh, width. And D is depth. Okay. So, Nilam Vidi Veram. Adana. H, W, and D. So all these things should be mentioned in, a, in your specifications when you are sending an order for something. So that we have to be uh, that we have to include here. Upper Buddha specifications the Lord. All these four specifications have to be written here. For further information, kindly contact me at so what do you write here? is right you just write your mobile number okay so uh, this could be the format of the mobile number I will say it will there will be some something like 10 digits okay or mail me at so what is that what do you write what do you write there thank you Shishma for that response so there you write your mobile number or mail me at what you write here mail me at exactly you write your email id so that is right yes shrishma uh, parna and jyotika so you can write uh, the email id so this is the format of the mail id that is there is an at at symbol then and uh, a dot com at the end so this is uh, a common format of a of a of an email id and here you the complimentary clause in most official letters is yours uh, faithfully and you put a comma the most commonly used is uh, yours faithfully but there are also many other uh, complimentary clauses which are used like yours sincerely Yours truly, etc. Most commonly used is yours faithfully. In all official letters, we use yours faithfully. And we have to remember that in all these uh, uh, complementary clauses, we do not put an apostrophe after yours. Yours, the data apostrophe, Idumila. We don't put an apostrophe. But there is a comma after writing the complementary clause. Comma, I don't know, Kshay. Yours in apostrophe, and and after this uh, writing the complementary clause, below the complementary clause, we have the signature. And below the signature, we have the name. Activity 5 is an acknowledgement letter. OK, so this is actually a continuation of the order that we sent for a cabinet. We have a cabinet request you, either a cupboard order you. Our order is our company. order order. They are sending an acknowledgement. An acknowledgement. Acknowledgement is actually a very uh, formal term for a receipt. Our receipt no receipt is a formal term. Acknowledgement. That is. You have sent money to them for the cupboard. They are saying that we have received it. Acknowledgement. So that is called an acknowledgement letter. 
okay and a letter of acknowledgement so there are different formal letters namal nerthe discuss cheyyathu order letter okay order letter now we are discussing an acknowledgement letter okay so an acknowledgement letter the format is the same the from address is there the date is there the to is there and the in the subject line you will find that he talks about the acknowledgement of payment so they say that they have received the payment for the cupboard or cabinet so we acknowledge your payment of rupees the amount is mentioned there 20000 you can write it here which we received from you through check number okay check check number is usually a six digit number dated date of the check okay towards towards what towards the price of or the towards the uh, you can just look at the question itself and you can fill it up towards the cost of the office filing cabinet that is how you fill up this letter so that we have we have now completed the main part of the letter then after yours faithfully we should remember to put a comma there is no comma here you have to put a comma after yours faithfully and below yours faithfully we have the signature and name so now we have that with two kinds of official letters one is an order letter the next is an acknowledgement letter now you have the office filing cabinet at, in your office but it has developed some problems okay so when you have a problem with a device when you buy a device nammal oru mobile vaangichu adine endekinum kedu vetti will you keep quiet you paid so much money some 10000 rupees for a mobile phone something happens to the phone what will you do go and buy a new phone pudhiya mobile phone vaadichu 10 varshathinulle kedai will you go and buy a new phone or will you do something try to repair it uh, yes okay yes uh, 10 days ay odane poi repair cheyano just 10 days you have you can file a complaint uh, yes you can file a complaint with the company from where you bought it or with the store nammal kadayila annu vechengile kadayila kondu poyittu namukku etra divasa aayittullo adine kedu vannittundo nu parayam so they will repair it they will repair it okay they will repair it free of cost for us okay so repairing it is correct but nammal thanne repair cheyanda avashyamilla nammal vaangiya sthalathu kondu kodutha mathi most of the products that we buy mobile phone njan or example easy ait manasilavu nanna most of the products that we buy from the market are are warranted warranty means the company is giving a protection for a period of mostly one year most products will have a warranty of one year that is within that uh, one year of your purchase if some uh, defect arises in the product or the gadget that you buy the company will repair it for you free of cost so we should not try to uh, give it for repairing for some at some repairing shop we should actually give it back to the company and the company will repair it for us free of cost so that is what is done here by you when you have this office filing cabinet but it has some defects so you write the from address here the date is here then the to address and the subject uh, is written defective office filing cabinet here we have a new thing which is introduced which is called a reference line okay so till now we have only learnt about the subject line but now we have what is called a reference line what is a reference line a reference line is uh, talks about 
on the previous uh, correspondence. Okay, it talks about the previous correspondence. That is, it relates to the something which has happened before. This is in continuation with the purchase. So this is purchase in our refer reference. So this is usually run written after the subject line. And how is it written? Like the subject line is written with S U B hyphen in the reference in R E F and you put a dot. Reference in the matra money with reference number under reference in the matra money R E F and the trigger. You put two columns. Here they have a reference number, which is you mostly the order number. Our order in a number that is the number of the order with which you have ordered the ordered what you have ordered the uh, office filing cabinet. So that is uh, the reference number. By looking at this reference number, we are able to understand. Uh, the previous correspondence. It is easy for the recipient to understand what uh, is he talking about. So when I write a letter with a proper reference number, the recipient, that is the person who receives the letter, is able to track the problem. They are easily able to track the problem. That is the importance of using a reference number. So I would like to bring to your attention that dash we purchased from Okay, so dash means here, uh, what did he purchase? The office filing cabinet. We purchased from, this is the name of the company which uh, from which you purchased. On is the date of purchase, is defective. Okay, here some Peter and Sons, from and the Lord to where another. Peter and Sons, and where another. On and the Lord to where another. What should come there? Date should come there. You should have the date there. And is in the Lord to another. What should you write there? Is effective. The cabinet doors. Will you full? Fill it. Cabinet door, cabinet doors are jammed. Okay. And you can write besides. The glasses in two drawers are broken. Okay, so these are the complaints that we are registering. So why did I write two? Because there are two two problems which are listed here. There is a space for writing two problems. I don't read the problems area. So depending upon this question, you have to write. Okay, in this question, they have listed as two problems. So we have written two problems here. This is the complaint. And uh, here we uh, have, a, this is the request to asking them to do something about this. So look into this matter urgently. You have to repair this and give us to us, give us to us in new condition. So this is what is meant by this sentence. I would like you to look into the matter urgently. And when you make a complaint, you should send these things. Enclosed are the copies of what in the kind of enclosed in the letter of complaint. What are the things that we may have to send?
very good sir we have to send the bill or the receipt of payment pinne if there is a warranty card adinde oru copy namukku aikka so bill and warranty card or receipt and warranty card adana nammal enclose cheyandi varu original alla you have to send the copy to them so that they can understand that this product is within the period of warranty so then they will repair this for us free of cost so uh, we are again asking them i urge you means i request you to take immediate steps to solve the problem to solve the issue means solve the problem at the earliest and again you have yours faithfully you should put a comma after that then give the you put your signature and write your name below that and here uh, you have another thing enclosures okay what is enclosed what is enclosed copy of the receipt and warranty card of the office filing cabinet enclosures can also be written in a short form e n c l in the tutorial we can write one uh, purchase bill okay then two warranty card Uh, enclosure and all that. Now, can you read them? This is the way in which we can write E N C L. Now, that is called one. That is one purchase bill. Two. Now, that is one. 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 so there is another model uh, complaint letter I, which you can fill up on your own so this is about a photocopy of that you purchase and that that is activity 7 this is something which you can yourself fill up subject to the reference number and then the body of the letter you can write by reading the, if you read the question properly you will be able to write a good body for the letter this is also a complaint letter and how do you write a complaint letter that is the last part so for every letter there will be an introduction and a body and a conclusion or introduction and down or main body and down or conclusion and down so how do you begin so if you look at those letters which we discussed they begin in we can begin them in different ways i would like to inform you that the photocopier is defective we regret to point out that regret is another word which you may not be familiar with regret means sorry so we are sorry to inform you means we are khedam in the malayalathile let me bring to your attention that the photocopier is defective i am writing you to inform you of my dis dissatisfaction with the product that you have delivered so you can use any of these structures idellam kuda namukku use cheyanda avashyamilla idile edengilum oranam aanu use cheyanda that is to begin the letter then there are structures which can be used to clearly mention what the problem is aadim or problem undennu parayalana introduction le endana problem ennalladana the next part of the letter so it can be about a problem of the device that was delivered to you or it can be about the time in which it was delivered that is you ordered a product and you get it after one month or two months that is delay in uh, delivering the product or you you have a uh, you, you have ordered for something and get something else or sanam order idu veru sanam namukku kittu so that is also a, a, a reason for complaint and you you order for a product the product does not have the particular quality that they claim then also it is a problem so there can be many reasons for the complaint and that reason for complaint comes under the 
മെയിൻ ബോഡി ഓഫ് ദ കംപ്ലൈൻ അപ്പൊ അതാണ് അതാണ് കംപ്ലൈൻ സ്ട്രക്ചേഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് കംസ് അണ്ടർ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ ലെറ്റർ ഇൻട്രഡക്ഷന് ശേഷമുള്ളത് മെയിൻ പാർട്ടിലാണ് നമ്മൾ എക്സാക്ട് നേച്ചർ ഓഫ് കംപ്ലൈൻ ഓക്കെ എക്സാക്ട് നേച്ചർ ഓഫ് കംപ്ലൈൻ ഹാസ് ടു ബി ക്ലിയർലി മെൻഷൻ ഇൻ ദ ബോഡി ഓഫ് ദ ലെറ്റർ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ സെക്കൻഡ് പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ ലെറ്റർ അതിലാണ് സ്ട്രക്ചേഴ്സ് യൂസ് ഫോർ കംപ്ലൈൻ യു ക്യാൻ യൂസ് എനി ഓഫ് ദീസ് സ്ട്രക്ചേഴ്സ് ഡിപ്പെൻഡിംഗ് ഓൺ ദ കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് പ്രോബ്ലം ദാറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് നമുക്ക് എന്താണോ പ്രോബ്ലം ആ പ്രോബ്ലത്തിനനുസരിച്ചിട്ടുള്ള സ്ട്രക്ചേഴ്സ് നമുക്ക് യൂസ് ചെയ്യാം so once you have written the details of the complaint then the last part of the letter is asking them to do something about it appo nammal complaint parnu kenya ini ningal ningada joli endana you have to ask them to resolve the complaint and that is called structures used for seeking solutions so we saw in the letter also nammal kanda complaint letter la madu unde you ask them to look into the problem find a solution and solve the issue okay or you can ask them to replace the product or you can ask them to repair the product and give it to you in a fresh condition or you can ask them to respond you can send, ask them to send one of their technicians to solve the issue so you can ask them to find some solution that will be the last part of the letter so the complaint letter has three uh, uh, things first introduction you say that you have a problem with the purchase second part in the main uh, part with the main body of the letter you tell them the exact nature of complaint and the third and final part you ask them to find a solution to the problem and after that you have the conclusion where you write the complimentary clause yours faithfully and signature and name and you have an enclosure where you write uh, what are the things that you have enclosed that is a purchase bill and a warranty card are the most common things if you have something else you can also add that so that brings us to the end of the uh, writing section as well as the end of this module we will be taking up the next module in the uh, next class but before uh, ending this i would like to tell you that we have the answers to the exercises at the end of the text so if you are uh, having any problem finding solutions to the exercises that we have you can find the solutions here okay you can see the, see the screen this is uh, actually page number 145 okay 145 of the textbook all the solutions to the exercises in the text including the while reading questions core text lulla while reading questions ulpade ella questions name answers answer key ennu parna the section la koduthittund so first sem textbook la namukku angane oru samvidhanam illayirunnu first sem text la namukku answer key illayirunnu but in the second semester textbook we have an answer key which will be useful for us to find the answers to the exercises which are there in the text so what we should do is we have to first to do the exercises or on our own and then check uh, at the back of the text for the answers so we will do exercises we will do the answers and we will copy it first do the exercise on your own and check whether you get you are getting the answers right i have put the summary of the cortex both the cortex in the first module you can find them in the google classroom i find that there are not many uh, participants in the google classroom so uh, those who have not joined the google classroom please join the classroom immediately because you will be will be posting the assignments and test papers in the google classroom itself google classroom la irikkum nammal assignments and test paper ida ഫസ്റ്റ് അസൈൻമെൻറ്റും ഫസ്റ്റ് ടെസ്റ്റ് പേപ്പറും നെക്സ്റ്റ് വീക്കിൽ ഉണ്ടാവും ഫസ്റ്റ് ടെസ്റ്റ് പേപ്പർ വിൽ ബി പോസ്റ്റഡ് ഓൺ വെനസ്ഡേ വെനസ്ഡേ ആയിരിക്കും ഫസ്റ്റ് ടെസ്റ്റ് പേപ്പർ നടക്കുന്നത് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മോർണിംഗിൽ ക്ലാസ്സസ് ഉണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ അതുകൊണ്ട് യു ക്യാൻ ഡൂ ദ ടെസ്റ്റ് പേപ്പർ ഇൻ ദ ആഫ്റ്റർനൂൺ വി വിൽ ഗീവ് യു ടൈം അപ് ടു ദി നൈറ്റ് നൈറ്റ് വരെ ടൈം ഉണ്ടാവും ആ ടൈമിൻ്റെ ഉള്ളിൽ നമ്മൾ ആ ഇത് ദർ വിൽ ബി അറൗണ്ട് ട്വൻറ്റി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ ചോയ്സ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ആണ് ഗൂഗിൾ ക്ലാസ് റൂമിൽ തന്നെ കയറിയിട്ട് അത് ആൻസർ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്ന രീതിയിലാണ് സെറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളത് ദൻ ആൻസർ ദോസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഓപ്പൺ ഫ്രം 
Wednesday. So Wednesday morning onwards up to Wednesday night it will be open. You can uh, you can only answer it once. Login now is shown. Email ID which is done over here. I'm better look Google Classroom. All the questions. Now we have only one answer. I'm better. So so we have only submit. I'm better. We have submit. I'm better. Submit. I'm better. We have to submit. You have to try. I'm better. You have already submitted your response. I'm better. So I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to answer the test paper. Answer it. No, no, it's available. All right. Now Google Classroom is available. All right. टेक्स्ट अवेलेबल आना अदौले फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल इंडे रेंड कोर टेक्स्ट नेम सम्मरी आ गया था क्रिसमस डे इंड द मॉर्निंग अनला स्टोरी डे सम्मरी आ दिलाने अदौले सम्बडीज़ मदर वाले ना पोयम अदें डे सम्मरी आ दिलाने एल्ला एक्सरसाइज़ फर्स्ट वो मॉड्यूल लो ला एल्ला एक्सरसाइज़ All the questions which you will have in the test paper next week, that is on the 16th of this month, 16th day because our text the test paper all the questions will be based on what we discussed in the class. Class will discuss here then a basic the matter may be given a question paper and now. So uh, you can also uh, uh, go through the specific sections which we discussed in the class. Then it will be easy for you to answer those questions. Uh, we have three more modules to complete, so we will have to slightly move a bit faster. I will quickly give an introduction to what you have in the uh, module two. The first module was uh, about bonds of love, that is relationship. The second module is titled flights of fancy. Okay. So, Fancy here has a, a different meaning from commonly understood meaning of fancy. What is the commonly understood meaning of fancy? Sadhana namla fancy in Varnan and Dhanartha. Fancy store may be good at lay. What is a fancy? Exactly, Surya. It is fashion or, or decoration or ornament. Such things are called fancy stores. So fancy is something, yes, decoration, fashion, etc. Uh, fancy is something which attracts you. Okay. So here, fancy is used in a different manner. Okay, it is used in a different manner. Here, uh, fancy means uh, imagination. Okay. Flight uh, means to fly. So when you imagine, you are actually flying in imagination. Okay, in your imagination, you uh, see so many. Uh, mysterious things. The Sadarana, Namla Lothri Ganatha Karim, Sopnam Ganam. Can you imagine? Sadarana daily in the Rakana Karim Lai Gilam, the Sopnam. So there is a lot of imagination involved. And uh, it will be usually very mysterious. So here, this module is deals mostly with mystery. Niguda Maya. Flights of Fancy in the module second. Second module deals with mostly aspects of imagination or mystery. And we have a quote from none other than the famous scientist Albert Einstein. He says that the most beautiful thing in life is the mysterious things. You might also have experienced in your life many things for you don't know why it happened like that. You, it appears very strange. There is no, uh, uh, you cannot explain it using reason. So anything which is not rational means which is, does not appear to appear to reason. The opposite of it is mysterious. Okay. 
anything which cannot be explained by reason will be viewed as angle karana karya karana bandham viewed as explain cheyan pattathu ellam mysterious aan so here he says that he is a scientist but he is saying that there are many things which are mysterious and it all the art and even science comes from the study of the mysterious so we cannot say that we are scientists we are technical people we don't have anything mystery but if you look at life itself it is all very mysterious just think about what is the end of all this that itself is a mystery suppose uh, you go to the end of the solar system what is beyond that there are other planets what is beyond that there are other galaxies what is beyond that there are many other galaxies is there an end to all these things if there is an end what is beyond that so we are all the time in our life we are continuously followed by the mysterious there is no escape we do not know the reason for all these things if you look at life itself our life itself what will happen when we die where are we going what happens to our life the body is cremated so that when we die the body is cremated what happens to us that itself is a mystery we do not know nobody can know and after you die you do not you cannot say what happened also you do not know you cannot talk also about what happened to you so it is all mysterious life is actually very mysterious nammal adhiga adine kurichu chindikathathu undan but scientists like einstein have thought about this and they say that it is uh, the most uh, beautiful thing the mysterious he to whom this emotion is a stranger who can no longer pause to wonder and stand wrapped in o o is also wonder o is also wonder is as good as that so if you are not able to wonder about the things that happen in the world then einstein says that <clears throat> you know, you are as good as that his eyes are closed you are not looking at the world properly this is what albert einstein tells about the mysterious in this module everything that we have all the core text as well as the activities deals with mystery <clears throat> the core text is a very interesting core text which is actually a story the story is uh, uh, written by ev lucas and the story is face on the wall that is the title of the story it's written by uh, a very famous writer called ev lucas it is about the picture of a face that emerges on a wall arum varchadalla oru thanne oru face oru wall la emerge cheynadum and uh, how that face influences the person who lives in that house that is the theme of the story uh, it is uh, written as a story but it is actually written also as a real experience of a person you may also have such mysterious experiences which you will remember when you come read this story so i will request you to kindly go through the story and enjoy the story so that we will be having a better understanding when we read the story in the class in the next class i think we will today stop and continue and go straight to the story in the next class that's it for today thank you for joining have a wonderful afternoon goodbye everyone thank, thank you sir thank, thank you sir. Sir. Thank, thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.